Rioja is picture perfect, a postcard friendly region long known for its production of wine. Nestled among the mountains and hillsides of the Ebro River Valley, medieval villages, well tended vineyards, and of course wineries have traditionally been the main attractions. The Riochans have been producing wine since prehistoric times, but these days some winemakers here are banking on more than just their famed Tempranillo grapes to attract the punters. Indeed, over the last decade or so, Rioja has been growing a new reputation for some striking modern architecture. Rioja is a region with a wine name, so they are very proud and they, they want to show their, their wine. I think that these this, uh, modern uh, buildings in modern wineries attract people to La Rioja and, and give, the, give them the opportunity to discover other values of the region that they didn't know. Sprawling across La Rioja are hundreds of wineries known locally as bodegas, and Campo Viejo is the largest. It was also the first in the region that dared to combine winemaking, large-scale industrial engineering, and modern architectural design. The result is vast, with space for 70,000 barrels and 6 million bottles of wine. But so much of it is hidden beneath the ground that visitors who come here are often astounded once they venture into the cellars. I think they, they got surprised because of uh, the scale. And when they go to the barrel's uh, room, they all get very, very surprised. I mean, they have never seen something so big. I know the word they say in Spanish, I don't know in English, but in Spanish they say espectacular. Well, it's the same word in English, isn't it? Spectacular. I think the scale of the building is unique. And then the, how it is integrated into the hill, to the land, with these precast concrete earthly pieces. And also the colors, the lighting, the new, that the scale of this winery was, was huge. And they wanted the visitors to have a nice relationship with the vineyard and the nature. Uh, they didn't want the visitors to have the feeling of come into a big building. This was my first big commission. So for me, it was very exciting, very big scale project, and then a very uh, wonderful site. Campo Viejo is not the only winery that is exciting people. Another nearby bodega that leaves a minimal footprint on the Riochan landscape by building down is Baigori. Perched on a small hilltop, backed by mountains and looking out over a sea of vineyards, Baigori was designed by local Basque architect Inaki Aspiazu. Since its completion in 2003 on the edge of ancient winemaking village Samaniego, Baigori has become a modern day landmark and it is attracting curious visitors from around the world. Wherever they uh, come from or uh, whoever they are, they just get very impressed with the architecture. And I think that uh, this, this winery was created in order to, uh, to attract people. And when they come here, they feel like they can uh, find silent, calmness, and also beautiful landscape, which is kind of integrated into the winery. So it is some kind of a mixture that really uh, catch the, the attention. It is another way of tourism, not tourism based on wine, but tourism based on architecture. So it is another type of income. And that's rather the point. Wineries like Baigori are hoping to diversify their income, branching out from wine sales to visitor receipts. It's not cheap to build a winery like this, and ultimately you could make wine in an oversized garden shed. But across the region, vineyard owners have been commissioning some of the biggest names in the world of architecture. Marquez de Riscal is one example. A venerable producer in the small village of El Ciego, the 19th century bodega was typical of its era. But the accompanying hotel that now looms above it, designed by Frank Gehry, is anything but typical. His composition is far from discreet, but it is one of several structures that is helping build a new kind of following for Rioja's wines. All around the world, we find a lot of nice wineries. And I think that it works because the wine takes something from the architecture in terms of brand and at the same image. 
marketing. When you come here and you see the winery and you get the brand or you know the brand before and then you make the relationship or you know the brand here, it's something you, you don't forget because you have been there, you have tasted the wine there, so you remember this wine and you will buy this wine, of course. Such branding techniques are nothing new. As far back as the 18th century, French winemakers were transforming Chateau into custom-built wineries and printing the images onto bottle labels. Some of the more famous Chateau have been drawing crowds ever since. But what's different about these new bodegas in northern Spain is their very public positioning as bold statement buildings designed for all the world to see. Bodegas Protos, a Richard Rogers structure, sails beneath a hilltop crowned by a medieval castle. Its wooden arcs project a certain get up and go. Bodegas Porsche, designed by Norman Foster, is a veritable cathedral of wine on the inside. But its triangular concrete casement has prompted some critics to liken it to an alien spacecraft that's crash-landed in the local countryside. Santiago Calatrava, perhaps Spain's most celebrated modernist architect, created this 86,000 square foot Isios winery at the foot of the Cantabrian mountain range, outside the nearby town of La Guardia. Visible from miles around, it exemplifies the ambition of local wine producers who say they're simply adding fresh color to the region's already beautiful palette, its countryside. I think that uh, for one architect, build something interesting is just a way of uh, showing, you know, the, the tradition and the culture of La Rioja. It's better to design something into the landscape and integrate landscape and architecture than um, build something in a city. But all the construction comes at a price, and with Spain's economy in the doldrums, borrowing money for a brand new winery has not always been such a safe bet, as some producers have discovered to their cost. Bodega Irias, for instance, a couple of hours east of Rioja, was completed in 2007 at a cost of 90 million euros. Last summer, the winery declared bankruptcy. And with once booming wine sales slowing down across the region, it turns out that the ultimate sin in wine country might just be putting your building above your bottling. You can have a beautiful architecture, but on the other hand, your wines are not so good. Maybe you will have many visits based on the architecture, but afterwards you won't have any result in terms of wine, of selling wine.